the memory of the just they say is blessed. This is apt considering the fact that the memories the late Sir Chief Honorable Emmanuel Blessing Kayode, who died on Thursday, April 9, 2020, left behind, was a blessed one which encapsulated a good name based on a life of integrity, contentment, and sound character. <laughs> left indelible and enviable records in his service to the community, the traditional institutions, educational sector, banking industry, the Church of God, and the political arena. Indeed, Baba Immanuel Blessing Coyote started well and ended well. To celebrate the life well spent of this iconic figure, therefore, the children and families of Baba gathered guests together to the Methodist Church Idonri Ondo State on Friday, November the 27, 2020 for the funeral service. <laughs> Series of sonorous hymns characterize the colorful service. After the biography of Baba was read by one of his sons, Mr. Kunle Blessing Kayodi, the Bishop of our Diocese of the Methodist Church of Nigeria, the Right Reverend Solomon Adigbite, then stepped onto the pulpit to deliver a thought-provoking sermon, which dwelt on the end result of life's journey, which can either be commendable or condemnable. From there, the melodies consumed with the Thanksgiving session as the congregation danced forward to celebrate with the children for surviving their father. <laughs> Knights of the church also positioned themselves round the casket and solemnly sang in the tribute session for the memory of Baba. Likewise, 
Baba's children sauntered round the casket when the choir began singing a special song dedicated for Baba. As the service came to a close, prayers were showered on the wife of Baba, Chief Mrs. Juliana Kayode, the Yalude of the Methodist Church Idori. The recessional hymn eventually brought the service to a close as everyone filed out of the church. Baba was then driven into a motorcade through the street for a final interment. Born on the 3rd of June 1932, Chief Blessing Emmanuel Kayode was a trained teacher, a thoroughbred professional, a developer of human capital, and an astute politician of great repute. He was an education administrator before veering into politics, where he was elected into various political offices such as councillor in local government from 1976 to 1978, chairman of Unity Party of Nigeria between 1979 to 1983, member of the House of Representatives twice, chairman of the Ondo State Social Democratic Party, and also as national vice chairman of the party between 1990 and 1993. Chief Blessing Kayode, between 1992 to 2000, he served as the chairman of the board of directors when the bank was Omega Bank. A devoted member of the Methodist Church, Blessing Kayode rose to become a knight of John Wesley, the late governor of Ondo State. Chief Adebayo Adifarati also bestowed upon him the title of Justice of Peace, JP. In Edore, his community, he was given the high riding chieftaincy title of Ashiwaju of Idori Kingdom. Guests then made their way to the Olofi Anglican Grammar School field for the reception. <music> Various marquees dotted the field. Under one of the marquees with colorful drapes were well arranged seats where guests of the children of Baba settled for to be fated. <laughs> The pampering of guests expectedly came in quick successions as sumptuous meals and chilled drinks flowed freely. From political associates to the Omega Bank family, to the Sigma Club, families, friends, associates and other guests, everyone had a real great time. The guests really had felicitous times, especially with the melodious rendition of Shegun Wanda Band, who thrilled the children of Baba as they were called upstage to dance one after the other with their guests.
all the children put heads together to ensure a smooth and successful event. It was therefore no surprise that they were the toast of all, especially the elite guests at the event. And this was evident at the dance floor when they were called up to dance. <laughs> Red Carpet TV spoke with the children of Baba and some of their guests. My father is a good father, a leader in, in the community across the whole Ondo state. He's done a lot of things in Idari. He's a man of policy. He will never compromise whatever he says. He loves his people more than money. My father was a very good man. A very decent man, who oh, fear God, I love God, I care for the people in the community. I miss uh, his company, I miss my father's friendship, he's my best friend, he's my mentor. I love him so much, I miss him. It's very difficult uh, to easily forget our companionship, more so, it cannot be replaced. It's a vacuum that can never one can occupy. So for that, uh, I will ever remember him as my beloved father. Oh, I shall so much. Father is like any law, and indeed there are law. One year, any war, any kind of any war, I cannot go. Go to sell me to let the place here. Baba mi owo en ti mo fena julo baba dara dara en ka jojo ajana ko ti mi gbo kikije what is law ah lagbara olo awa na a teyin se fun won my dad is an epitome of um a likable person humble person he virtually spent his life for the people and um, I am going to miss him so much. He's left a legacy that we are all struggling to fill in. But I know by the grace of God, the Lord will give us the strength to, to live up to that expectation. He's a nice man that, and we have so much fun, love, loving memories about him. He will be, be, he will be greatly missed. Well, I will miss, I will miss his, um, his jokes. I will miss his friendship. Because we are very close. I was very close to my dad. His advice. Oh, I will miss his, his love. He was a loving father, very kind, very loving, so much to miss about him. He's a, he's a total human being that, you know, that there's so many parts to him that I will miss. And I'm still looking for the person that will be able to fill that gap for in my life. He's a vacuum and it's only the God that can make it to be mended. Baba, Baba is a peace, loving person. Baba is very honest. Anyone that come across Baba, Baba has a very positive impact in their life. Baba is a father for anyone who wish to have. My father-in-law was a peaceful man. My father-in-law loves people above himself. In fact, in fact, it takes people, people's welfare above himself. I mean, it was an epitome of um, humility. In fact, everything positive was my father-in-law. My father-in-law does not fight. My father-in-law would rather walk away than fight anybody. He was a very good man. He believed so much in good name. And I want the children to do that also, which I also will emulate by the grace of God. He, he loves his good name. He believes that good name is better than riches. Papa was like an angel who just flew across the earth. The only difference is that he spent 88 years. Because people like that, they don't last that long. Baba has very uncommon integrity, very honest, very contented. Uh, he 
was like it was more of a father than a chairman. And so that's why you can see he has passed through the lives of many. So I can talk about Baba for 24 hours. So you are the church. The strong. They are entering into very strong, food, very big food that their father has left for them. So they need the prayers of you, of me, of everyone. So that they can fulfill the role of the inheritors of Baba Blessing. I don't know where to start from. He was a wonderful man, a great man indeed. As a matter of fact, the first job I got while I was working with the bank, he got me the job. And not only that, I lived with him while I was working, while I was not working. I lived with him and he took me as his son. He took care of me like his son, you know, and all the way throughout my life until his first month, he was the father to me. He was a man, he taught me a lot of things. Let me give you one. When I was going to start work, he gave me one advice that I held on to up to today. He told me that, as a matter of fact, what he told me was that I should be very careful and make sure that I don't rush things. I should not, you know, try to make too much money, but try to do it, you know, carefully, gently, that everything I desire, I will get. But I shouldn't be in a hurry. And that has, that stuck with me. And that was my principle in life. Don't take things easy, God will talk to us. And I looked at his life. He was very, he was a man that, he was never, he wasn't greedy. One other thing, when he was the daddy blessing, was a great blessing to his story and to his family. He lived a life of integrity. Our advice to children, he was a man of influence. He tried to help as many as he could. Our advice to children to do the same, to throw his path, his life, and make sure that they also live a life of selflessness. They must try as much as possible to make sure that they help people as much as possible. Was a great man. blessing. In fact, be that the bad that the music, one man be one loss of spirit, one man take responsibility, one. But see, can't you see? Oh, my baby, I got my ah, only way I see, only way I see. Oh, my baby, I got my ah, only way I see. My baby, I'm calling your baby, John. Baba Blessing Kayode was a motivator. Uh, everyone who is a politician in the in, in, in today took his offshoot from him. Uh, he was formerly a, the, the, a, a member of House of, House of Representatives twice in Idari. He was a chairman of the local government. And of course, he, he, his, his influence was all over. He worked with, he was the chairman of Omega Bank, the then uh, Wema Bank, uh, the then uh, Wema Bank. So, he, and during those period, he was so honest. He was, he, he, he didn't acquire things that ordinary people would just be acquired today. He was a very wonderful man of God. His life was a model for younger generations that, 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 that are coming. He live a very simple life, very contented life, and a committed member of the community where he lives. Papa Blessing Kayode was one of the most respected politicians, not only in Nigeria. He was a committed leader in Edori. He's a leader that we all adore and respect and will be solely missed by all and sundry. As you can see here today, we have a rainbow, rainbow coalition 
We have people representing all political interests, all political divide, and we pray and hope that most of our politicians in the state and particularly in Dunre, we emulate the good life we lived. He played politics without bitterness. He loved all and he loved his community. I pray that the Almighty God will give him eternal rest. Sir Emmanuel Blessing Kyle, I assure you of it on the land. He's a politician of Rebels. He's a father. At the same time, he's a Christian to the core. She blessed the God to me as an individual. He's my political mentor. She taught me how to play politics. I grew up under his political tutelage. She blessed the God is a man who can describe as a gentleman full of integrity, full of honesty and transparency. He's a man who doesn't believe in this. He's a man who you can call a team player. He's a man who loves his church or his family. He's a father that all the dairy, indigenous, both home and abroad, are well proud of him. He's a gentleman to the core. Um, he loves people. He's a lover of peace. You know, and uh, he's a family man. He loves his family very much. Um, positive um, lessons you can pick from Baba's life. Um, number one thing I noticed is that Baba is very contented with what he has, what he has or what I have here. Yeah. Very contented. Um, um, he doesn't, um, he's not materialistic. And you know that that's the bane of our society today. Because we the, up, the upcoming, the youths or the upcoming generation now are too materialistic. Um, they want to get things even without working. But with, with Baba, the little he has, he was happy with it. So, that's, so contentment is one thing I'll pick up from Baba's life. And everyone should emulate. From the Red Carpet TV crew, we felicitate with the children of Baba for giving the patriarch, the late Sir Chief Honorable Emmanuel, blessing Kayode, a befitting funeral.